Good morning, my VIPs. It is Mary. You're Mary with Mary Kay. It is a beautiful day here in Texas, so I could not resist doing this class today from my backyard. And I am so excited that I'm going to show off a bunch of the new summer products. I have prepped my face. So I do have um, eye cream on my eyelids, um, oil, the boosters, the serum plus CE, and my day cream from the repair set. So that's been done. Nothing has been done under my eyes because today, before your very eyes, I'm going to be showing off. Yes, I think some of you have seen my before and after photos. Those literally are when I get up in the morning. Um, as you can tell, allergy eyes and just mm, welcome to the universe of just having some extra skin underneath your eyes. So this product is called our Instant Puffiness Reducer. Um, comes $35 for the tube. They are saying a runout rate if you're using it every day, um, about six months. So this is one of those products that it will kind of help train you of what does and doesn't work for you. So you're going to get, you see, this is about a rice grain size. And what you're going to do is you're going to pat it in underneath your eye. Notice I am patting. I am not rubbing. Notice I said I did not put any eye cream under, under the eyes. I am literally just patting this product in. So you're going to put it on your eye and then we're gonna go on with the rest of life and we're gonna leave this sit here because at some point I'm gonna to wanna to add some under eye for me because I still have some redness and all of that. I'm gonna to wanna to add some makeup underneath my eye, but this needs to dry first. So the reality is most days, if I am not doing a video for you all showing off the brand new products, instant, instant puffiness reducer, um, I get up in the morning, do my stuff, take my shower, hair up in a towel, get up, dry my face. I put this on, then I go to the, all the stuff to fuss with the hair, letting it dry before I even put on any of the rest of my um, skincare. So I am, put, the goal is put it on, try to keep the minimal amount of face action happening while that is drying. A couple things about it. One, if you put on too much, it will dry with a white flakiness and then we're gonna have to brush that off. Um, if you don't, if your face is damp because we are trying to reduce the hydration level, um, the puffiness, if you add moisturizer, if your face is wet, both of those can reduce how well the product itself is going to perform. Talking to customers that you guys, people that have already jumped in and are using it and me myself, I am finding at somewhere between day three and day five, you've kind of figured out what works best for you and your eyes. Do you notice that I just put it under my eye? This is not meant for tightening up this skin. It is designed here because this is extra skin. This actually has extra puffiness. It has extra hydration trapped in there. Actually, it's not hydration. It is just excess, um, almost like a swelling. So we're just trying to make the swelling go down. So we're gonna let that keep working while we're gonna talk about some other products, kind of doing some fun, um, showing off some of the brand new products that are out plus helping it's like, hey, it's spring, it's summer. What can I do to make this fast and furious? So one of the other things um, I like to do, I will work on my lips, my brows and my eyes first. So one of the new products that we have is our product every year. Any of you who have been with me for several years, you know, every spring, Mary Kay introduces a product that extra money is going to be given to the Mary Kay Ash Charitable Foundation. So this year, these are fun lipsticks. Fun also because of the shape. So we have hearts. So you have a more neutral and you have a pink, okay? So both of these are there. Couple cool things about the container on this one. One, they are color-coded on the end cap that you know which color you're grabbing so we don't have to open them every time you wanna use it. The other thing is how these lipsticks go up. When you, go, when you want to increase them, you click them like a pen on the bottom. 
the only disadvantage is you can't unclick it. So you don't want to get, see how much you can get put out because you can't re retract it. So um, I'm going to show a couple things. We're going to go with the more pink one first. And cool thing about the shape of this one, if you notice, it's a heart. But this fun end here, we can actually treat like a lip liner. So I would love to say I can see y'all extremely well in that, but that's kind of a lie. So my seeing beauty in the mirror, my mirror is sitting right here. So um, I'm going to line my lips today. When I line my lips um, on the top, I like to make an X on that cupid bow. And then I like to get the bottom part of my lip established. Okay. And then if I'm trying to shape, I'm one of these people that one side of my lip is puppier and one side is flat. So on the side that has a little less skin, I take my lip liner and I go right at and outside the natural lip line like that. And on the side, that's a little more full because I don't really want like really, really full lips, but I do like my lips to kind of look even if I'm actually going to the effort to put my lips on. So on this one, I go right inside the lip line. So I get the appearance that my right and left side are equal. Okay. What I also like about these colors is they are soft enough that you can mix and match. This one for me, as some of you guys know, I am not a really bold lipstick person unless I'm doing a bit, you know, what if I'm doing a special occasion, yes, I'll wear bolder lips, but as a general rule, I love calm lips. I love barely lips there. So I do love this rose. That's a barely lip there. Um, so it's, I call it kind of lip tone. So if you notice, I outlined my lips. And then I put my lipstick, my new, more neutral lipstick over the top. Okay, when I'm putting makeup on, why did I do my lips first? Well, lips and brows. Now, if you notice, I've established the top and I've established the bottom. So as we're balancing our whole face out, life is going to be, we kind of know where we're going with everything as a part of that. So a makeup tip, brows. I just did a light brow pencil today because this is kind of my summery look, my fast and furious look. So a couple products when it comes to fast and furious things that work really well in the summer. If you want a complete no makeup makeup, um, of course, I love our foundation primer. You all have seen and heard me talk about that many and various times. It's clear and then you just rub it over your moisturizer. This is not a moisturizer, so you do need to add it over a moisturizer. This, if it is a true no makeup makeup day, this is what I wear as my foundation. Why? Because this will help hold my moisturizer on my face. And that way the environment or whatever isn't gonna take my moisturizer off. As an oily skin person, if my skin loses hydration, it generates oil. Generating oil means that I'm going to have a higher probability of breaking out. No fun in my universe. So also love it because it leaves my face just really soft. So this could be a no makeup makeup. New foundation primer. Um, it's not new. It's our foundation primer. Also in the summer, what I also love to use for a foundation is our CC cream. Um, concealing cream. It is basically a tinted moisturizer. So make a few taps, you can use your fingers, you can use, depending on if you use your fingers, if you use a brush, if you use a sponge, all of those are gonna give you a slightly different finish of how your foundation looks. 
if you notice, it is a barely there foundation, which is one of the reasons that I love it for a summer look. Yes, if I'm double checking, I got to see it in the mirror. So, see beauty in the mirror. And when you're blind close up like I am, you got to get it a little bigger. So now for summer, a couple things that we are introducing in addition to the lips, in addition to the instant ID puffer. Okay, if you notice, every time I applied something, I haven't done anything where I did that instant eye puffer because I'm still letting it work. Letting it work, letting it work, letting it work. So a couple other tips to, if you are fast and furious, Mary, there's not a chance in God's green earth. I'm gonna buy multiple brushes um, from you to actually apply my eyeshadow. Let's do a couple other things just to help make the eyes pop and look amazing. Our under eye corrector, safe for under. See, I'm still letting that dry, so we're not going to play there yet. But I also use this on my eyelid, looking that lovely color, right? It's kind of a fun, uh, like, not 20-year-old eyelid, right? So I put a few dots here, and then I blend. You can use a blending brush, um, a liquid blending brush, like a cream blush br brush, or... I also like to warm the product with my finger. So as it's going on, my finger is helping warm it. And you notice I am tapping it in. Notice the difference around my nose. Notice that my eye looks slightly different. So I'm gonna keep going with this eye so that you can kind of see the difference. Then if we're gonna go single brush, if you're like me and you have the extra eyelid skin, the eye blending brush is your friend. Why? Because it is so super soft. As we go to put on our eyeshadow, it's not, it's gonna work with all that extra skin to get the eyeshadow pushed around that we don't end up with clumps in it. Do I recommend that you only do it with one brush? No, I love multiple brushes because you can just get a better coat, kind of like you're painting a wall, a little brush closer to the windows, a bigger brush. But I also know, let's talk reality. Some of you, I don't, you don't care. You don't, not going to do it. So let's talk about which one's going to work. Blendy brush. When we, um, if I'm trying to work with my shape, I, this is, okay. Is it going to work as well as multiple brushes? No. Um, but we also have a chance Hi, dear, how are you? We have Miss Vanquilla jumping in that we get to see this as well. So I'm gonna continue. So I got the ID puffer working under my eye. What you're gonna be able to watch the rest of it back. Now I'm showing how to blend your eyeshadow or put your eyeshadow on with a single blush using the eye blending brush. Okay, so that's where we are with this. Hopefully this is all putting me as what we're doing. I think it still has because I'm talking. I believe I'm the one on screen. So we're gonna go with that. So we're gonna take the big blendy brush. I like to start with my mid shade, um, well, actually my darkest shade. So today, because it's just kind of a dash out the door summer look, for my blue eyes, I'm gonna be dealing in um, kind of a pinkish color just to try to counteract the blue. Pink or orange kind of work really well. So I put a little bit on my brush. As you guys know, can't see very well without that. Gonna to go to the mirror so I can see. I'm gonna go right here in the deep crease of my eye. And then I'm gonna use like a windshield wiper action and go back and forth to just lightly blend all of that in so that I'm getting all sides. Then I personally then like to do the lid and then I just blend those two colors. Uh, for me today, it's shiny penny on the low part. Then I wipe off my brush because I'm gonna go light and I'm gonna go light up under the brow. Okay. Do you all see the difference of just what a little shadow can do to help open that eye up? Now, if you really wanna help open up the eye, mascara is your friend. Mascara is your friend. So, a um, couple things when you go to do your mascara. Your mascara, 
a lot of this has to do with your preference on a brush. I love a brush applicator because my lashes tend to be pretty thin. So I like to use a brush more than a comb. So you're gonna see that right now, I am applying my ultimate black mascara. And if you notice, as I am going up the lashes, I'm kind of zigging and zagging back and forth to be catching both sides. And then I do one quick coat down my lashes to catch the back side, And then I come one more coat underneath with that same zigging action. See the difference? Yes, mascara is your friend. Mascara is your friend. So as we're letting that dry, then as I'm zooming along, I will be adding my blush. So one of the other new products that we have right now is our gel cream blushes. They come in four beautiful shades. What I also love about our packaging is, do you see? You can tell what color you're putting on just by looking at the packaging. Look at that. We have light pink, darker pink, berry, and coral. So today, just so that you can kind of see a little different, I'm going to do both the berry and the pink. So when you un undo them, if there's going to be a little sealing cap. You take your finger or a brush, take a little bit, and then you're going to apply your brush, blush, make a few taps, blend. So as you notice, goes on heavy, blend down light. Okay, so that is our berry. And then, clean off my finger here. I'm gonna show you if I go ahead and put the, the beautiful little pink, the soft pink over the top, just to add, you know, when I go to do blushes, yes, we can use a single one. Couple things that I like is, you know, God doesn't give us just a single tone. So sometimes I like to blend my, bl my blushes. So there you go. And do you see what that does to that side of my face? I have a little mascara out, a little color and a blush and whoop, look at the difference of the length of my face. So now I also want you to notice, do you see how the texture underneath my eyes are starting to lighten up? Um, and the deep puffer is working. The other thing that I notice is that the closer I apply the deep puffer to right after I get out of the shower, so right after I wash, I notice that it works faster and more efficiently than, I mean, I've been up, washed my face the, in a, several hours, and now I'm applying it still to a clean face, but I'm, I'm noticing a delay of how well it works. I, we know that we can apply it later in the day. You can apply it over makeup, but you are not going to get the same super strong reaction that you do if you do it in the morning after um, a clean face that is not wet. So the last tip that I have for doing your makeup for summer looks waterproof mascara is your friend waterproof mascara is your friend why well if you're anywhere close to here you guys summer gets hot and sweaty you get places where hey they're just being nice and they're misting all of that kind of stuff i love it that waterproof mascara will not run will not fall off your face so you notice that i did put my ultimate mascara on what i do then is i waterproof it so literally I put a coat of waterproof mascara over the top. I also use the waterproof on my really, really fine little lashes that are on the bottom. Somehow I got out here with Q-tip, without Q-tips, so that will be touched off, touched up outside of this video. Voila, did you see the difference? Now, the last thing or one thing that I usually do to just finish out the look or that before you're gonna see me 99% of the times of a photo, I will put a few dabs of the under eye corrector 
under my eyes to just finish getting rid of that purple color. If I don't think it's enough, I might add a little bit. Some people are saying, um, I've heard that, especially with some of you that start with a little bit more tan than I do, um, because of the peach nature, it works well, but you kind of still notice kind of an offness. You can also mix this with your favorite concealer to get the purple knocked down, but to also match your skin tone just a little bit better. So there you go. Highlighting today our under IV puffer, highlighting our brand new limited edition lipsticks that give an extra, an extra dollar to the Mary Kay Ash Foundation. Uh, and highlighting our brand new cream blushes that come in four beautiful shades and seeing what the difference is by just doing a little, how much it makes a difference. I don't know about you, but I can definitely tell between the two sides of the face, which one works better. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope this gives you some information. I'll be answering your questions. Talk to you soon. See if I can stop the recording.